Well, Gina, we just have to kind of get over the hump of this evening in terms of the storms. And then after that, it's a pretty nice weekend. It sure is. But yes, this evening could be quite uh, the weather maker out wow. there. So what's nice is you get to enjoy the barbecue right now. When we look outside, it's absolutely beautiful out there. But yeah, by the time you're done dinner, maybe uh, put the patio cushions away. Any delicate plants that you have, uh, maybe cover those. Maybe get the car in the garage because it could be a pretty nasty weather set up tonight. We are under severe thunderstorm warning right now. Excuse me, a watch still currently, uh, but that's encompassing all of southern Alberta right now. And this is our storm outlook map, which is really helpful at just uh, forecasting what could come our way. So Calgary is meeting that high risk criteria right now along with the bulk of southern Alberta. So the primary hazards with this storm that is approaching from the states up in a northerly direction here is hail two to four centimeters in size and really strong winds. Now rain will also be a contender as well, but it's these two primary factors that we're keeping an eye on with these storm cells. So this is a look at uh, all the areas involved in the watch right now. No warnings of note, but this could develop as we progress closer into around the 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock hour. We could see more of this orange that we're seeing in that Kelowna area right now pop up in Calgary and the surrounding areas too. So there's the storm. Brewing in the States, Idaho, Montana, making its way up through to Canada here. Nothing quite making impact yet, except with the extreme southwest part of the province. But this is moving in quite a fast direction, and it is getting quite organized the more north it goes. So here's stop number one here, Lethbridge area. You could encounter storms right around 8 o'clock. Next stop, Nanton High River. And then this gets to Calgary right around 10.30. And we're seeing some deep hail cores there and a very active weather setup. So it's going to be gusty, and you can see it's getting more organized the more more north it goes in the province here, but it's moving quickly. So by the time we get into Saturday morning, looking nice and sunny out there, we'll hold on to that sunshine really throughout the duration of your Saturday afternoon. But that low pressure system is swinging back, could graze us in the overnight once again, heading into Sunday. But after that, nice clear conditions. And we're going to enjoy nice warm temperatures and the sunshine throughout the days, really throughout the weekend, right into Monday. But this is the rainfall for the next 24 hours. So you see that uptick in Lethbridge and the red there. We're even going through the charts here in Calgary. So it could be, again, quite a fast, aggressive storm system. And then I factored in Jasper as well. I know the wildfire situation is improving, but this is a lot of sustained rain too, which could help with the wildfire fight, but also could destabilize the earth as well because a lot of it has been scorched. By the time precipitation moves through, we will get about trace amounts here in Calgary, up to three millimeters possible. But again, as we get throughout the rest of the weekend, looking really nice, some nocturnal thunderstorms storms possible into Saturday night as well, but through the day, nice close to seasonal temperatures up to 25 on Monday, and then a cooler setup begins for Tuesday. Well, it is a beautiful Friday night. Let's check in with Gina Martin now. Will we be getting any rain tonight or into the weekend, Gina? We actually might, Tara, but it will be more of a later evening event. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch right now, but that could escalate into a warning right around 10:30, 11 o'clock tonight as a pretty aggressive looking storm setup starts to track from the states into Canada. Right now, 25 degrees out there, but we could cool down uh, about 10 degrees in just a couple of hours here. As you can see in your day planner, it's going to cool off as that system moves in and we'll likely see these nocturnal thunderstorms linger into the early morning hours, but a nice clear setup for Saturday. I'll have your full weekend forecast coming up. Gina, we have a nice weekend ahead, but we got to get through tonight first. Yes, tonight could be uh, quite the active storm setup for us. This is a map uh, that I've made up based off of Environment and Climate Change Canada's severe storm outlook. So you do see in Calgary, Lethbridge, all the way to the U.S. border there, we're in that orange high risk category. So as this storm starts to track from the states into Canada, our high risk primary hazards we're looking at are hail getting up to two to four centimeters in diameter and very strong wind speeds exceeding 100 kilometers an hour. That puts us in that orange criteria. Now as this storm starts to move into Canada too, the more it tracks north, the more strength it's building. So we're already starting to see a couple of areas here in Alberta get under the severe thunderstorm warning category, including to the north of us along the 
foothills there and just along the U.S. border right now. So let's add our satellite radar here so we get a good idea of what's moving in. So this is just uh, the start of what's starting to track in here. We're seeing areas like Cranbrook under that warning criteria as well. And just zooming in, we're starting to see those embedded thunderstorms with the potential for hail and very strong wind. Now later in the show, I'm going to track in detail in our future cast exactly when this storm is looking to come to Calgary and what it could be bringing with us. But your rainfall for the next 24 hours also gives us an idea of what to expect. So Lethbridge, right around that eight o'clock hour, you could see some scattered showers from the system. But look at us here in Calgary in the yellow. We surge right up into that widespread category. I'll say right around 10, 11 o'clock at night. So a short-lived system, but pretty aggressive when it moves through. And then it calms down as we get into the overnight hours. Now in blue here, I've also put Jasper as well. The wildfire situation is improving, which is good news. But with this amount of widespread rainfall, I'm seeing amounts could get up to 20 millimeters with this rain event. Uh, after the rain, it's or excuse me, the wildfire, the earth is quite scorched there. So a lot of rain can destabilize that top soil due to the lack of vegetation. So while it's good news to get rain and cooler weather for those wildfire affected areas, too much too quickly can pose a problem. Now, what's good with this model, it is suggesting, yes, we'll see some rain, but it's not looking like super significant amounts along the Rockies there. So we'll keep an eye on that situation for you. But after we get through tonight, as Tara was mentioning, some nice seasonal conditions for Saturday, Sunday, and right into Monday, warming up to 25 degrees. But by the time we get into Tuesday, we start to see the transition back into some cooler, gloomier weather, Tara. Welcome back. We're looking outside right now Now through our Capital Chef Skywatch camera. Looking very calm, but uh, don't let the skyline deceive you right now. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch. And if you are joining us uh, along the U.S. border there, even Fort McLeod, you are now under a severe thunderstorm warning as we see the storm system start to track in to Canada. But in the city right now, we're sitting at a comfortable 25 degrees, just a degree shy of that forecast high of 26 we hit earlier this afternoon so above normal today but we'll return to some seasonal temperatures as we get into Saturday and Sunday but first we got to get through tonight and again we are seeing watches and warnings with this storm system starting to track through and the primary hazards with this storm is strong winds and large hail now a little bit of humor here I did see uh, storm trackers say uh, it looks like the storm is finally making its way through U.S. Customs and Immigration as it tracks uh, through the states there and finally getting past uh, the U.S. border into parts of southern Alberta now. So that's why we're seeing in the orangish red color there those warnings start to kick in. And this is going to continue to track its way up into uh, the Calgary area throughout the night. What I'm noticing with this system as it progresses, it's moving quite fast. So while this model is suggesting uh, areas like Lethbridge will see this storm start to work its way in around 8 o'clock, could come a little sooner. So Lethbridge, your first, our next stop, High River along the highway there, Highway 2. And then it makes its way into Calgary and is building in both intensity and organization right around 1030. So I'm seeing some pretty intense hail cores here. Keep an eye on that tonight. What we do have is the benefit of time right now to prepare for this situation as it continues to build in energy by the time it gets up into the QE2 north of, Alber or of Calgary. Now it does clear, it's moving quite quickly, so we will have a nice Saturday afternoon for us, but the system does start to kick back as we get into the overnight hours into Sunday. We might get grazed with some showers on your Saturday night, early Sunday morning, but pretty short-lived, and then it's looking like a nice clear setup for the rest of the weekend. And that's the story really for our regional forecast here. Little windy on Saturday, gusts up to 40 to 60 kilometers an hour, but lots of sunshine and temperatures in the low to mid 20s. For your 10 days, trend brought to you by Capital Chev. Uh, we have a lovely weekend, but we do take a downturn by midweek Wednesday there, only getting up to 17 degrees, but a nice rally as we get closer to that long weekend, Tara. Thank you, Gina.